Here with defenders Josh Majette, who had 15 points and 15 assists. I think I might have even shorted you a point tonight, uh, Josh. I think he had 16. Uh, and his team's lost to the Texas Legends. Josh, I know you're, you're not much for individual accomplishments, so I'm going to get right to, the, to this game as a team. You guys led from first quarter to the third quarter, and then the fourth quarter they outscored you by 13. What do you think went wrong? Uh, I think it obviously starts with the defense. Um, giving up 132. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we gave up in the fourth, but um, you know you're not going to win a lot of games giving up that many points, especially you know in the, we're kind of gearing up for the playoffs and you know trying to make that push and really lock in. And you know, it's disappointing to to have that kind of effort. And but you know we still got four more games to kind of bounce back and get things right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gearing up for the playoffs, you guys have already clinched a spot in the postseason, but when you have a game like this where it's close and, and you really want to pull it out and you got the playoffs right around the corner, do, is there any part of you that wants it more to kind of establish some momentum? Yeah, absolutely. You want to be peaking and playing the right way and, you know, really improving and clicking on all cylinders when the playoffs come around. So you definitely want to be playing right. Uh, it's disappointing to lose a game that's, that's very, very winnable. Uh, but, you know, they're a good team and they're, they're really talented offensively and, you know, I just didn't think we made it tough enough for them on the offensive end. Did you feel at all that you guys maybe took your foot off the gas a little bit considering that you had such a, a wide margin for most of the game? Um, you know, I don't know. You know, I think maybe a little game slippage or a lack of concentration there possibly, but, um, you know, to their credit, they just kept playing. They kind of did what we have done to teams throughout the year. and. Right. You know, you should keep playing and then make it a game with three minutes to go and anything can happen. David Nwaba uh, signed a multi-year contract with the Lakers. I'm sure you guys are all happy about that. Um, what's your reaction to, to the way he's ascended so far? Uh, it's been awesome. You know, from the, the day I met him, you know, he just keeps impressing and improving. And, you know, he does, does it the right way. He comes in every day and he works. And, you know, it's a true testament of, you know, what hard, hard work can accomplish. Uh, you know, I'm just through the roof for him, you know, I'm, I'm just super pumped. Last thing for you, Josh, you also got Justin Harper back here uh, after his 10 day with Philly. How big is that for your team? It's huge, you know, he gives us another big body that we need and, you know, obviously you see the numbers that he's been putting up and the reason he got called up, he, he's a great player, mm -hmm. uh, but he's a great person too and, you know, he's great in our, in our locker room, he's a, he's a leader for our team and, you know, we just, we just really like having him. All right, thanks Josh, appreciate, appreciate you, man. It,